What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. Today, we are up in the cookbook library because I have a little bit of a confession. I went to Ollie's Bargain Mart, and if you've ever been to that store, you'll know that they have a pretty good selection of uh, cookbooks. Their cookbooks are kind of random. I think it's everything they get like on closeout, but you can get some really great books for like three bucks, five bucks a piece. So I was there and I was gonna buy a couple cookbooks and next thing you know, I had an entire cart full. So we are gonna take a look at the cookbooks I got at Ollie. I have literally about seven bags of them over here on a cart. So what's up? It's Wednesday. It's time for a cookbook haul. So I'm going to get my lovely assistant to push it over here. Come on, boo. Thank you for shopping at Ollie's. <laughs> Turn it this way. So how are you guys doing? We haven't done an update, like a show update in a while. Um, we've been doing a lot of looking at gadgets and stuff and doing some cooking. Um, just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, I've been working very hard. That's why you might not have seen me as often and as many uploads. Um, I'm trying to get better and get a better groove on that. I've been, you know, I do work a full-time job, so um, I was a little bit ahead on the filming, but now I'm not ahead on the filming, so um, that's why I kind of had a slow week last week, but um, I'm going to try. I'm trying to try to do better, so I, got, I just got to get a little more organized. So, cheers, guys. How are you doing? We... Wow, that's good. And we that's, and that's just regular water. No yeah, that's just no, regular water. There's no vodka in it. Mm. Tastes good. So we haven't really had a chat. So I guess this is an opportunity for us to have a little chat. I do have something on its way to the Amy Learns to Cook kitchen. If you're in my Facebook group, you might know what this is. So someone in the group tipped me off about a new stand mixer that's coming out. And I've been wanting this. Literally, I've been doing a countdown in the group because I've been saving for this mixer. This mixer is listed at $899. I actually ended up getting a 20% discount because I bought it through Williams-Sonoma online. Well, it has a little asterisk by it. You, you're going to open and close a credit card. Yeah, well, funny story on that. <laughs> so, the manufacturer ha still has it as coming soon on their website, but Williams and Oma said they're ready to ship it now. So, I went on their website and they were running this deal that if you signed up for a Williams and Oma credit card, you get 20% off, right? So, I told Eric that and he sort of. <laughs> the night before, right? And I was like, dang, he was like, the only reason you want to get it because you'll use the credit card to buy more stuff at Williams-Sonoma, huh? I wouldn't do that. And, <laughs> and so the next morning, I went on there, I got the credit card, and I ordered the mixer. And so I shot him an email saying, guess what's coming to the pan room? And he said, you didn't order that mixer, did you? And I said, yes. And he said, I just ordered it. So he applied for a credit card, got a discount, and placed an order for the mixer as well. So not only now we have two Williams Sonoma credit cards, but we had two mixers on their way to the house. The mixer is the wolf, right? If you guys know the Wolf brand, it's owned by Sub-Zero. I believe they also own Viking and they own Wolf. It's a line of high-end appliances. I believe they're made in the US. They have, Wolf has a line of small appliances where they have toasters and all this fun stuff, a blender, slow cooker, 
and now they got a stand mixer. She left a little part out of the story. What did I leave out? So this is where we're doing a little truth checking here. Yes, I did roll my eyes the night before. Did that give her a license to open her credit card? No, but she did anyways. But what I was doing that she didn't know was Williams-Sonoma, like other people, if you're willing to surrender your email address and take on a bunch of spam, they just might give you a 15% discount on your first purchase. <laughs> so me being greedy like I am, I was thinking, wow, can I pay you back a 15% savings plus a I new don't think that applies on appliances, though. Well, the bottom line was, while I was tinkering with it and not noticing any discount being applied, Amy was on the other end of town getting the stuff ordered herself. So by the time she shot an email, I had already contacted William Sonoma and found out that no, you cannot piggyback the email savings thingy and the credit card deal. It's kind of like one or the other. And the email thingy doesn't apply to all purchases. Gee, where have I heard that before? Macy's. Yeah. So their credit card discount applies to pretty much everything. Kind of like at Macy's. Macy's, when you open up an account, even on stuff that you can't normally save money on, like, I don't know, all clad and all them nice knives of yours. But when you do the credit card, you save the money. But when you do the other things, you don't. And sometimes friends and family is hit or miss. So now I think I hate William Sonoma just as much as I hate uh, William Sonoma. But the good news is we're closing that bad boy credit card because we don't need it. Right, boo? Sure. <laughs> I need more water, waitress, water, waitress, water, waitress. Waitress? Do I look like a waitress to you? Yes. Where's my tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't take, take wood nickels. Wood nickels. Cheapskate. Enjoy your water. Ah, nice. So, Cooks, the wolf is on its way to the pan room. Um, it says that it'll be here by the 24th, so we will see if that actually happens. A little strange because the wolf website acts like they're not shipping yet, but some reason William Sonoma says I'm going to get it. So, we will see, right? And the tracking number they gave us is not valid. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Let's get to some cookbooks. We have a lot of them here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of cookbooks. So let's see what we got. Okay. The very first book is the Taste of Home Instant Pot Cookbook. Um, this is from the Taste of Home, obviously. It says their price is $10, our price is $2.99. So they had a bunch of these instant, um, these tasty, taste of home cookbooks, and, um, and they were all $2.99. They literally had a giant rack of them, all different types. So I grabbed um, quite a few of them. This is the Instant Pot Cookbook. And this thing is really nice looking. Look at this bowl on the front uh, cover. So in here we have some kind of pulled meat, um, a salsa, black beans, some tortillas, and some limes over here. This is like straight up, this is, this is me right here, right? Um, so this is geared towards the Instant Pot, dinner in an instant, 100 recipes made easy for today's cooks. Um, and here is the back. So we have some cheesecakes. We have some, this is meat and pretzel bites. Um, this looks great. It has an explanation of the Instant Pot, how to use it. This book is definitely worth the price that I paid. I would say this book's even worth the 10. Um, I'm going to put links to all these books up on, down in the description. So they've got snacks and appetizers. This actually might be better with this here. Um, Caribbean Chipotle sliders. 
garlic deviled eggs. Oh my gosh, those look so good. Picadillo lettuce wraps. Um, breakfast and brunch. Oh my gosh. Apple butter, oatmeals. So I'm gonna test some of these recipes. I usually test and then I try to make the recipes my own um, by, uh, by changing it to my taste. So here's seafood. There's pork dinners, um, chicken, beef, soups and sandwiches. This looks really good. So this is the Taste of Home Instant Pot Cookbook. Next up we have in here, okay, so this is just a generic cast iron cookbook. It's called Cast Iron Cookware, The Care and Upkeep Handbook with 50 Classic Recipes. That looks pretty sweet, huh? Um, Price of $16.95 and the price on here is $2.99. So it has a lot of stuff on how to use your cast iron cookware. Wow, look at that. Um, lots of recipes, the history of cast iron, um, the care and cleaning and upkeep of it how to do that. Wow. Lots of recipes, pies, beef stroganoffs, um, giant chocolate chip cookies. Eric is going to make a giant. You want to try to make a giant chocolate chip cookie in your cast iron? Sure. That looks pretty good. Um, so this is the cast iron cookware care and Care and Keeping Handbook. It was $2.99. How many tubes of chocolate chip cookies would I have to buy at the store? <laughs> You're supposed to make your own. Oh. Mm. The water is nice and refreshing. So this is I Love My Rice Cooker Cookbook. I have a ri new rice cooker coming up um, very soon. This was normally $16.99. It was $2.99 at Ollie's. That's sweet, huh? And lots of great recipes. So we have from mashed sweet potatoes to spicy ground beef, 175 recipes. Basics, appetizer soup, rice, porridge, pasta, Asian, fish, seafood, main dishes, chicken, pork, beef, vegetables, desserts, and drinks. And I'm, I think I'm gonna be doing a chicken and rice soup. Um, I've been making that recently, so um, as soon as I get the recipe just right, we'll be doing a video on that. So next up I have Field and Feast, Sublime Food from a Brave New Farm by Dean Carlson. This, um, this says all profits to good causes. Burgess Lee Press donates 100% of our after-tax profits to food-related causes. This book benefits Stone Barn Center for Food and Agriculture. And this is an absolutely beautiful book, guys. So this is normally $35, and I paid $2.99 for it. And this book is really beautiful. So this, uh, this is um, other books that they have. And look at those photography in that. Um, covers pork, beef, uh, lamb, chicken, New Year's Eve farm menu, foundation recipes, breads, preserves, stocks, and more. Um, this is just a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, kind of gourmet recipe, salt-crusted pork belly, um, pork etouffee, uh, I don't know. 
how to process, how to make sausages. Um, really meat intensive book. Chicken, lettuce salads. Oh my gosh, this looks great. I can't wait to dive into this one. And here we have another Taste at Home. This is Taste of Home Simple, Easy, and Fast Slow Cooker Recipes. So I have a couple slow cookers. I'm trying to get on the slow cooker bandwagon because I feel like many times a lot of recipes out there and everything that I find is just like some kind of cream of soup, cream of some kind soup base to it. And so I really want to get into slow cooking, but slow cooking like real ingredients and not those like processed ingredients. So I really need to work on my slow cooker cooking. Um, I can't, I'm not like a newbie at it. I know how to use a slow cooker, but I really think I'm a newbie at developing real recipes in a slow cooker and not just, you know, a recipe from processed foods. So um, that's going to be interesting. Taste of home, easy, fast, and simple, fat, easy, and fast, fast and slow cooker. That's kind of funny. So this is $17.99, and I paid $2.99 for it. Um, so let's see what we got here. I haven't seen, and these are like, they're written really in taste of home kind of um, style, um, the formatting. So it covers your basics, appetizers, soups, entrees, desserts, um, lots of information about using your slow cooker, and then lots of recipes. Cranberry meatballs, wow. Glazed carrots, app, peach butter. This looks really good, guys. Egg casseroles. Pineapple chicken, look at that. Can't have the dairy though, unfortunately. I gotta think of some substitutes for dairy. Um, that looks amazing. So next up is the Taste of Home, How Do I Make a Hands-On Guide to Cooking Anything and Everything You Love. This was $17.99 and I paid $2.99. So this is another one of the Taste of Home cookbooks. And this they say, hello, goodbye taste, take out, hello homemade. And this is supposed to be everything, like straight from scratch. Yes, you can make this. This book right here is just, this is like a book that's sort of like the philosophy of Amy Learns to Cook, right? Yes, you can make it. If you've ever wanted to make French toast, grilled burgers, chicken noodle soup, holiday ham, or chocolate cake, but felt too intimidated, let this cookbook be your guide. With the Taste of Home, How Do I Make, we'll get, walk you through step-by-step step through all the recipes you've always wanted to master. Um, I like it. I think... Uh, I think my plan at some point is to write a cookbook, and I think it's going to be similar to this kind of idea. So we got a lot of stuff on bakeware, cutlery, kitchen tools. Um, they go through cocktails, dips, French toast. I really like this book. Um, casseroles, pinto beans, um, pastas. Meats on the grill, desserts, yeah, I like this. I'm gonna be interested in digging through that bad boy. So next up, we have a little book. This is the Pressure Cooker Cookbook developed by William Sonoma. The price on this was $14.95. I paid $1.95 for this book, and look at that. Look at the picture on the front. We did a recipe similar to this. I'm gonna link it down in the description. We did, um, we made a, a sauce like this and used um, some pasta and it was fantastic. Um, we made it in a Dutch oven. It's one of my favorite pasta dishes. Look at that, potatoes and eggs. That right there looks 
amazing. Um, the pictures in this are amazing, but of course this is William Sonoma, so we would get that right. What is this? Risotto with mushrooms. Hmm. Lemon vanilla cheesecake. Different kind of pressure cookers. We have the Bravo I see here. This looks like the all clad. Uh, stovetop pressure cookers. You could do these in either one. Chicken pho with lemongrass and bok choy. Wow. Brisket sandwiches. This is amazing. This book is amazing. I love William Sonoma cookbooks. I'm going to tell you that. And this is no exception. And for $1.99, that was a bargain, right? So we have Taste of Home Soups. There was a lot of these books here. Um, Taste of Home Soups, this is $17.99, paid $2.99 for it. And this looks like a really good book. Um, wow, amazing. I think I scored here at all these guys. I scored big time. Another Taste at Home Ultimate Chicken, Beef, and Pork Cookbook. 350 recipes for the grill, the slow cooker, and the skillet. This one was $17.99, and I paid $2.99 for it. And all you got to do is see that right there. Fried chicken, right? We're in the house. Um, here's like a steak salad. Oh, my gosh. These are amazing. Meatloaves. Look at that chicken in a skillet. Mm, 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 mm. Right? Oh, uh, let's see what we got here. This one is a binder system. This is the Taste at Home, Taste of Home Favorites 25th Anniversary Cookbook Recipe Shared Across the Generations. Um, price on this was $24.99. I paid $4.99 for it. Um, I really like these cookbooks that come with the spiral binding because when you're cooking, it lays flat. So it's not like bonging uh, back and forth. Um, can wow. You, can you remove them or not? The pages? No. You could photocopy them if you were going to do that. Um, Fast fix at staples, oven recipe, stove tops, slow cooker, grilled grates, um, desserts, retro revivals, taste at home holiday. I think I scored with this, you guys. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is amazing. Cranberry cookies with brown butter glaze. Mm-hmm. I'm digging this. I'm going to have so much fun going through these cookbooks and see what they offer. Okay, so we have another binder. This is a Taste at Home Simple and Delicious Cookbook. Um, this was $29.99 and I paid $4.99 for it. Um, this actually has a free subscription to Taste of Home magazine that comes along with it. So let's see. Yeah, that's inside. So I think I'm going to keep that so we can uh, take a look at that. So this is... It um, looks like a regular binder. It is a binder. So those yeah, come these probably come out. This has 1,314 Easy recipes for everyday cooks. This looks fantastic. The cover <laughs> looks fantastic. Um, so this is like your classic binder style. So this has pictures of a lot of the recipes on the cover, and they show complete meals. So they show the, the meat, the side dish, and some of them a drink or a dessert. You have that on both sides of the cookbook. Um, so, we have a lot of different areas in here. We have snacks and appetizers, 
finished in 15, finished 30 dinners in 30 on the stove top, slow cooking, quick casseroles, sides and salads, breads, good mornings. Buy this, make that, cook once, eat twice, make ahead, potluck, party, holiday highlights, party time. I mean, <laughs> is this book worth two bucks or what? I would say, yeah. Well, right? if it does the cooking for you. Yeah, <laughs> if it cooked for you. Torts, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have another binder cookbook. This is the Welcome Home Harvest Cookbook by Hope Comfort. This is from the editor of the New York Times bestselling Fix It and Forget It series, which I think is like a slow cooker series, quick and easy farm to table, dessert, dinners and desserts. This is $24.99 and I paid $3.99 for it. Whoa. And this too you, you is... Paid, you paid a buck more for that. I know. Yeah. This too is another um, binder style um, recipe book. Not quite as many pictures and stuff as The Taste of Home, but you know, Taste of Home is a huge franchise and they can do that. And we're gonna do this last bag and then we will do a part two um, because this video is gonna be way too long. Um, so I think this book might be my deal of the day. Um, I actually got this two book set from um, Christopher Kimball, who formerly was the editor of Cook's uh, Illustrated. He has moved on to another um, venture. And these are two of his books, The Cook's Bible and The Dessert Bible. Uh, Christopher Kimball, founder and editor of Cook's Illustrated Magazine. This is a two volume master class in home cooking from the host of America's Test Kitchen with surefire recipes for America's best loved dishes and desserts from roast chicken, biscuits, ravioli, barbecue to chocolate chips, souffles, and apple pie. Now this is a two volume set. Um, this is normally $24 and I paid $6.99 for this. I think this was, this is I think one of my best scores of the whole trip. $6.99? was this set from Chris Kimball. Um, so one is the dessert Bible and one is the cook's Bible. I think this set right here is my score of the trip. But I also have another score of the trip and I think this is great. You may look at these titles and think, I'm not any one of these at this point because I've been married 20 years. But this is a fantastic collection. It's been around for a long time. And I, I'm so happy that I scored it at such a great price. So their normal price on this is $69.95. And I paid $9.95 for this set. <coughs> Eric's back there. Oh my gosh, this was probably the most expensive set. But this was worth every single penny. This is the William Sonoma Bride and Groom Collection, and it contains the Bride and Groom Cookbook and the Bride and Groom Entertaining Book. So what's that mean? Um, I think this is a great set to get a new uh, bride and groom, a new couple for a wedding gift. It would be great for a shower, wedding shower gift. It would be great as a home, uh, welcome to your new home gift for anybody who has recently married or recently got a home. Um, wow. It is amazing that I got this set at this price. Um, so it starts out with the bride and groom cookbook recipes for cooking together. Um, 
With the Bride and Groom Cookbook, the two of you will never be at loss for a quick and easy supper, a leisurely brunch, or celebratory holiday feast, or any of the know-how it takes to celebrate a delicious meal. Um, wow. No, first and foremost, I absolutely love William Sonoma cookbooks. Um, and anytime you can get one like this, at this kind of price is amazing. So it covers breakfast and brunch, stuff like vanilla pear muffins, blueberry pancakes, breakfast hash, frittatas, starters, um, marinated goat cheese, hmm, bruschetta two ways, soups, lots of different kinds of soups. Leek and potato soup. Mm -hmm. I'm going to really enjoy that book. Also, the entertaining book. Um, these normally are two separate books. So, cooks, this is part one of my cookbook haul. We're going to do a part two because I still have five bags of books that I got at Ollie's. Um, I think I spent about $100 for all these books. And you can see I got some fantastic uh, titles. Mm. So join me. Part two is going to be next week. Um, I am eventually going to do a full cookbook haul. I really think since cookbooks are such a part of what I enjoy for the kitchen, I really want to dive in more to my cookbook collection because I have some really fabulous stuff here and um, I love talking. I love the book talks, right? So part one, happy Wednesday. Um, this is going to be continued next week. We're going to look at the rest of these books. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. If you're a cookbook lover like me, um, yeah, you will be just as geeky over cookbooks as you are over gadgets. And I absolutely love them. Um, so happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining me. And stay tuned for part two next week. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Leave me a comment and a like. Visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. You can also catch me on social media at Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook. On Facebook, come and join my Facebook group and let me know what you think about these books facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. And on Instagram, you can catch me at Cooking with Amy.